Hey everyone, it's Rajiv and welcome back to my channel Rajiv's Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be giving my book review of The Wedding Dress by Daniel Steele. I always love reading a feel-good historical romance fiction novel from time to time and I was fortunate enough to receive an advanced copy of this book from the publishers for my review. And having said that, I actually enjoyed reading this book and I thought it had all the classic elements of a Daniel Steele book. And yeah, I enjoyed reading it. There are a lot of things that happen in this story, so I'm going to be very brief and just give a hype plot of the story but it mainly revolves around this family called the Devereux family and the story spans across four generations of this family and all the ups and downs that they go through. The story starts off in 1928 where this girl named Eleanor falls in love with this man named Alex and they are soon to get married. The story then shifts to Camille who is Eleanor's daughter and then it follows Ruby who is Camille's daughter and finally it follows Kendall who is Ruby's daughter and it mainly focuses on all the trials and tribulations and ups and downs that the family goes through and how they are affected by the stock market crash of 1929 to how they are also affected by the bombings of Pearl Harbor. And it also touches on the drug culture of the 1960s where one of the characters decides to become a hippie and she gets overdosed and Ab starts abusing drugs. The family goes from riches to poverty to climbing back up the ladder and there are quite a bit of twists and turns but what is interesting is that there is a certain wedding dress that manages to stand against all odds irrespective of what the family is going through and how it gets passed on from generation to generation. Like I've said in some of my previous videos I always love reading a good family saga drama where you get to see a range of emotions that each of the characters go through and there's a lot of twists and turns that happen and it's interesting to see how some of the traits are passed on from generation to generation. One thing which I really enjoyed about this book and which I generally enjoy reading some of Daniel Steele's books is the feel-good factor in it. You don't have any of the dramatic elements like deception and revenge and betrayal and all these oh my god moments which is very over the top and something which you would never expect. It's a very family friendly oriented tale and most of the characters are very simple and charming and good-hearted. In fact there was a time within 20% of the book where I thought the story was going to be really boring because all of the characters are very sweet and very likable and nothing negative or dramatic was happening at all. But the author slowly starts to bring in those elements as well later in the story with characters like Zack and Camille. Also, I loved Ruby and Eleanor and Kendall as the main characters. And what I thought was really interesting was how they were perceived as good for the timeline in which they were living in, which might have not been perceived fashionable if it was swapped with another generation. What I mean to say is that Ruby is her own character and Eleanor is her own character and both of them are really good and kind-hearted but some of the things that Ruby did might not have been considered fashionable if she was living in Eleanor's timeline. And moreover, I also like some of the historical events that takes place in the story which is connected to the characters like the World War II experience or Pearl Harbor or the stock market crash. But the only main problem I had with the story was that it was too fast paced. A lot of things just happen within the blink of an eye and before you can process what has happened to a certain character or a certain situation, the author just picks up and moves on to the next part of the story. For example, Camille is this very interesting negative character who is one of the main characters who I would have loved to read more about. But as soon as the character is introduced, she grows up in an instant and she goes through so many changes in her life that you really don't get to read more about her or find out why she had this sudden change in personality. Just before you feel that she is becoming more of an interesting character and might shake things up for Eleanor, 
the character is just removed and the author moves on to Ruby. Considering that the story spans from three to four generations of the family, I would have preferred it if the author had put in more details to the story and made the book bigger or longer so that we at least get to enjoy reading about the characters a bit more. In fact, there are so many things happening in Ruby and Kendall's timeline that I really wish the author had put in more details to the characters and the background as to why they did the things that they did. But overall, I actually enjoyed reading this book and if you are a fan of historical romance fiction or if you are a fan of Daniel Steele, then I would definitely recommend that you pick out The Wedding Dress. Overall, I would give this book a rating of 4 out of 5 stars. If you enjoyed watching this review, then please do like, share and subscribe and please do click on the bell notifications icon to get notifications on whenever I post something new. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye!